Have you ever left a doctor's office feeling like you aren't seeing eye to eye? Well, you're not alone. And if you live with a chronic condition like rheumatoid arthritis, it's even more important to get the most out of your doctor's visits. Joining us today is Dr. Alvin Wells and patient Glenn Paris with some tips on closing that medical communication mm -hmm. gap. Thank you guys so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Glenn, can you tell mm -hmm. me how difficult it is to communicate your signs and symptoms to your doctor? Well, I think with a diagnosis like rheumatoid arthritis, um, it, it really is important that the patient has confidence in telling their doctor about their symptoms. A lot of the uh, trouble that a RA patient might have are things that are part of everyday life, opening doors, holding a cell phone, driving a car, and these are things that you could have pain with and difficulty doing and uh, lose some independence in that even. Absolutely. Dr. Wells, do you find that patients and doctors often disagree about the signs and symptoms of RA? Yes, there actually is a disconnect sometimes between physicians and their patients. Um, as you know, there are over 2 million patients with rheumatoid arthritis, and one group that we really begin to focus on is that group that has what we call moderately active disease, and that patient might only have one or two swollen and tender joints. Let's say if it's a carpenter, that could be his thumb, or if it's a young mother, it could be her elbow. Those patients, we know that we want to have that communication so we can get the disease under control and maybe even stop or halt the progression of the disease altogether. Absolutely, that communication is key. Now, what can a patient do to keep a clear dialogue with their doctor? Well, there's several different things. One of the things we've done, we've partnered with Amgen and Pfizer and put together a website called InsideRA.com, and that's a source that patients can go to to learn about the disease, to learn about the treatment options, but most importantly, learn how to increase the communications between the doctor and the patients. You know, one tip I give my patients before they come into the clinic, I say write down those one or two things that you want to talk about or discuss with me, because remember, many physicians, we have 10 or 15 minutes uh, for a visit, and sometimes, you know, the things that the patient's concerned about, I often don't have the time to focus on, so having those things written down really helps increase that communication. Absolutely. And, and Glenn, have you kept an open dialogue with your doctor? And, and what have you learned in managing your condition that can help other patients with RA? Yes, I really want to encourage um, other patients to talk with their doctor. I feel that the, the patient really is the expert on the symptoms. And that uh, is the only resource that a doctor has on that aspect of the disease. So um, it's important to speak up and to be able to um, have a constant dialogue um, with the doctor so that he can really plan the best, best treatment possible and um, you know, the best medications to use. And Dr. Wells, one more time, where can we go for more information on this? So InsideRA.com is a website to learn about the disease, learn about available treatment options, and learn what kind of tools can a patient do to increase the interaction between the physician and the patient so we can give you the best treatment options available. All right, Dr. Wells and Ms. Paris, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Mm, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. And we'll be right back with more Low Country Live right after this.